So I realize I am the only thing standing between you and the bar, so I am going to keep this very short, but um, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm Sabrina Schaefer. Um, I'm R Street's Vice President of Public Affairs. Um, I am really happy to see so many people who are still here. It's been a great day. Um, thank you to all of you for helping make this a, a really big success for our inaugural Real Solutions Summit. Um, thank you again to Susanna Docupil, our board chair, for, for being here and for offering such poignant remarks earlier this afternoon. Um, a huge thank you to our governance teams, our criminal justice team, and our technology team um, for putting together fantastic discussions. We really enjoyed them. And to our panelists, some of whom I'm glad are still here to sort of help us close out the evening. Um, I also want to offer one more thank you to all of our sponsors, but especially our gold sponsors, <clears throat> excuse me, Unite America and Google. Um, I would also be remiss if we did not offer a big thank you to our streets <clears throat> communications director, Bill Gray. He is really <laughs> the brain behind this whole day. And a huge thank you to Addison Garner and to Lou Cromwell and the whole communications team and the publications team, everybody who really did a tremendous amount of work to bring this little idea to fruition, so thank you. Um, we spoke a lot today about the growing distrust of American institutions, distrust in our government, in our elections, distrust in civic institutions, in our justice system, in science and technology, and perhaps most palpable, as I know Ramesh uh, mentioned earlier, distrust in one another. And this skepticism and this doubt and these misgivings, they're serious. They're more than just a data point or a poll number. Um, they have real consequences for the country. Because what happens if Americans' trust runs dry, right? As we've been talking about, how does it impact our economic growth, our innovation, our ability to build strong communities? When does our in distrust of, um, or our healthy skepticism of government sort of tip over into undermining our democracy? And perhaps top of mind for myself, and I'm sure many in the room tonight, is how does this swelling distrust put the country at risk with our adversaries who are here and willing to undermine our way of life? Distrust breeds animosity. Veronique mentioned earlier this afternoon that there are very real moral consequences to this decline in trust. And it manifests in greater tribalism, increased violence, and a general tenor of unrest in our communities. So there are serious challenges plaguing our nation, and we are not always going to see eye to eye. We've talked a lot about that today. But today put in sharp relief that we must do more to address these differences in healthy, meaningful ways that will restore trust and ultimately allow us to build a stronger democracy. So our street, I have to do a little plug for us, we are the, the reason you're all here today, we are committed to doing just that. It is a critically important time to be a think tank. I've spent my whole career working in and around uh, Washington's think tanks, and that's longer time than I like to admit, but um, I've spent a lot of time writing about their history, thinking about their role in the political process, and watching them evolve and change. And Eli and I have talked a lot about that. They're very different today from when I arrived here many moons ago. <laughs> but one thing remains clear, crystal clear, and that is that think tanks like R Street are needed more today than they've ever been needed before. There is more information and data at our fingertips, as we were just talking about. We should be able to tackle any public policy challenge. But the fact is, it's not that easy. There are also many more ways to manipulate that data, to cherry pick that data. And we need more trustworthy organizations, as Ramesh was pointing out, that are committed to parsing and synthesizing and translating that information into real policy solutions. Eli and Brian spoke earlier this afternoon, and they talked a lot about the competing interests that face think tanks like our streets. Many organizations find themselves pressured to respond on the go, to do more, to be part of the echo chamber. But that just means that organizations like our street need to fill the space that other organizations and actors have left behind. There is an even greater need for our street to further a culture of trust, and to create a space of opportunity for informed conversations like the ones we've had this afternoon. Erica did a fantastic job kicking off um, our afternoon, and she was describing some of the ways 
that our street is committed to creating credible research, that lawmakers, media, policymakers, and the general public can confidently rely on. But as she explained, our work doesn't stop there. That research and those ideas have to reach the audiences that matter most. And that's why R Street continues to invest more in programming like this to foster that healthy conflict as well as the collaboration. And thinking about those ways that we can build together and build a think tank that is worthy of your trust is what gives me optimism and I know it gives all of us at R Street um, a really positive feeling about the future. So we are gonna to continue to put policy over posturing. We are gonna to continue to look for real solutions that help expand economic opportunity, encourage innovation, and protect our civil liberties. Um, and ultimately, we are going to continue to work to restore public trust. With that, I wanna invite you to continue that collaboration, maybe a little healthy conflict, um, and most importantly, some congeniality outside on our rooftop or inside if it's too cold, um, and celebrate this great afternoon. So thank you all so much for being here.